guys i'm back it's monday and tonight's episode of neek at night will be honoring the class of 2020 i like to call it the graduating class of covid i also like to call it the graduating class of change and i also want to give a shout out to all the young people all the young people who before I would tell my friends that I just couldn't stand, I couldn't stand the young people because they just used to get on my nerves and I would say, oh, they just don't value anything. They don't value life. They just don't care about anything. And I remember being young, but I was not that carefree and cavalier about everything. You know, I had some values, some sort of value. You know, I wasn't a, a straight, leg. well, I kind of was, but you know what I'm saying? I, I we didn't we i felt like we valued life or valued um our parents opinions and stuff but these young kids in my opinion i just felt like they didn't really value anything but then this perfect storm comes along and first we are all um quarantined to our homes so school is out school is out school as they know it is is resolved and um we're at home and so our attention has been shifted and things are slowed down and we can concentrate on things that actually matter and so we have an unfortunate um, string of circumstances that happened over this quarantine time and it all has led us to this moment and in this moment the young people are shining they are shining 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 and I'm so proud I saw a post that Monique did um, earlier today on Instagram and I felt everything she said I am so proud of these young people they are the majority of the protesters and because they have all the energy. They have the energy to do this stuff. They have it, you know, they have the energy and they have the time and they have the resources to plan. I just think it's so ironic and it's so beautiful at the same time that, you know, they're not getting the traditional graduations or the traditional prom that, you know, every person who's graduating not every person but most people you know they look forward to going to prom and they look forward to having graduation and having their family um come and cheer i know that was huge for me but this year is different it's 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 different and i can't say it's good or bad different but what it is is it's different and i just wanted to you know acknowledge the young people and the great work that they are doing y'all don't get tired do not get tired keep doing what you're doing keep pressing forward we're not gonna get tired we can't get tired i'm gonna keep supporting the way i support but we need the protests to continue make the people uncomfortable until they change the wicked laws and the wicked ways Keep it up. I love it. I love everything about it. Continue to be peaceful. These knuckleheads out here who don't mean to protest any good, they will dissolve themselves because they don't have the energy to fight the good fight. So kudos to all the young people. Kudos to all the young people who are being positive, who are doing positive things to help this movement kudos to all of you i'm so proud i'm so happy and i'm just gr i'm grateful really is what i am i'm grateful but don't let up do not let up keep your don't let up i ain't gonna say what i was about to say but don't freaking let up don't do it keep protesting keep doing it in peace but keep protesting i also um wanted to say that because um, you know, things are starting to gradually 
get back in the groove. Sports are gradually starting to come back. The NBA has decided at the end of July that they are going to resume their season. And I was scrolling through today and I saw on ESPN that boxing is coming back. There's a boxing match tomorrow. Shakur Stevens will be fighting on ESPN tomorrow night. That should be great. You guys know I love boxing. It's been on hiatus. So I'll be really happy to, you know, watch that. But do not lose focus because things are gradually starting to get back, you know, to normal. And I wouldn't be surprised if they would push for that so that it could can get us off focus. And, I, you know, you know. They slick like that. Don't let them do it to you. Let's stay on task. Let's stay on code. And let's keep moving and pressing forward. Please. Let's do that. Um, also, I did not speak on the whole Drew Brees thing. I just find it very ironic. Drew, Drew going so hard right now. Drew going hard right now. I would just like to know the exact moment that the light flipped on for Drew. Like, when did Drew finally get it? Did Drew finally get it or is Drew trying to save face? I would really like to know when was the moment, when was the light bulb moment? When was the aha moment for Drew when he finally registered that, oh, it's not about the flag, it's about the senseless killings. Drew's a smart guy. So I would really like to know when the light bulb finally got, went off for him. I just would like to know that personally. And I really also wanna know how it is that Roger Goodell can get on camera and, you know, get behind the movement and show his support and for the players he really generalized that for the players and not acknowledge or speak the name of colin kaepernick how do you do that i, I just how do you how do you resolve yourself to do that um mr goodell i'm interested to know I can't wait to see. We're at the midway, um, the midway of the the calendar year. We're we're in um, June, and I'm big on seasons, really big on seasons, um, relationship wise. You know, it, I'll give any relationship a season to see what happens, and that's three months. I I give three months to see what happens with any kind of relationship I'm in, whether it be friendship, romantically involved working relationship whatever I, I i'm um committed to three months and then after that you know it, it was whatever it's gonna be but i'll give energy to three months i cannot wait to see how the nfl approaches its season this year and if colin kaepernick will be mentioned at all by name i just think it's very intriguing I'm going to keep my eye on it. I can't wait to see what happens with it. Anyway, that's all I have, guys, for Monday. Be safe. Protest. Make people uncomfortable if you have to. Don't be afraid to do that. Uh, have the, the, what is it? Have the uncomfortable conversations if you so desire. But if you look like me, don't feel the need to have to explain anything to anybody because at this point, there's no explanation needed. If you don't get it by now, it's because you don't want to get it. And that's cool. I know where to place you. That I have no problem with that. If you still want to play crazy after all of this, you go right ahead and play crazy. And I know where to put you. But please, black people, do not feel like it is your job or it is your duty to educate other folks on why we feel the way we feel is not your job it is not your job to do that if they really want to know they'll research like they research any and everything else 
So with that, I'm out. Y'all have a good night. And I'll see you guys back on Wednesday. Wednesday. All right. Bye.